It's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah Sullivan. On demand. Classic hits for the Seacoast. 1021 at 1053. The Shark. It's Friday Funnies. It's Classic Hits for the Seacoast. 1021 and 1053. The Shark. George Carlin, may he rest, talks about the difference between baseball and football. Baseball is played on a diamond in a park. The baseball park. Football is played on a gridiron in a stadium, sometimes called Soldier Field or War Memorial Stadium. (laughs) Baseball begins in the spring, the season of new life. Football begins in the fall when everything is dying. In football, you wear a helmet. In baseball, you wear a cap. (laughs) Football is concerned with downs. What down is it? Baseball is concerned with ups. Who's up? Are you up? I'm not up. He's up. In football, you receive a penalty. In baseball, you make an error. (laughs) Whoops. Football has hitting, clipping, spearing, blocking, piling on, late hitting, unnecessary roughness, and personal fouls. Baseball has the sacrifice. (laughs) Football is played in any kind of weather. Rain, sleet, snow, hail, mud. Can't read the numbers on the field. Can't read the yard markers. Can't read the players' numbers. The struggle will continue. In baseball, if it rains, we don't come out to play. In football, the object is for the quarterback, otherwise known as the field general, to be on target with his aerial assault, riddling the defense by hitting his receivers with deadly accuracy in spite of the blitz, even if he has to use the shotgun. With short bullet passes and long bombs, he marches his troops into enemy territory, balancing this aerial assault with a sustained ground attack which punches holes in the forward wall of the enemy's defensive line. In baseball, the object is to go home (laughs) and to be safe. I hope I'll be safe at home. Safe at home. (laughs) Well, we all know what happened with the football game last night. In case you don't, in case you're just tuning in. Oh, yeah, the Jets. The Jets won over the Patriots for the first time in nine years, I think it is. 24 to 3 was the final score. And unfortunately, the Red Sox... Uh, they didn't look any better. Yesterday against the Tampa Bay Rays, they lost two to nothing. But speaking of baseball, pretty cool. Uh, Shohei Otani made Major League Baseball history yesterday. And, uh, here is the call of when he made history in baseball. Otani sends one in the air. The other way. Back it goes. Shohei Otani starts the 50-50 club. Wow. Incredible. He's a player with the L.A. Dodgers, and uh, he's the first player to hit 50 or more homers and to steal 50 or more bases. So the 50-50 club has been opened. Congratulations to him. Coming up in 15 minutes, we've got a doctor talking about The GLP-1 weight loss pill, yep, it could be out there for the general public. Uh, I'll give you more details about that on the way. The 80s were fun, but the 90s were too. It's classic hits for the Seacoast, 1021 and 1053, The Shark. Hey, Sarah, what are the three things we need to know today? Well, today it's going to be temps in the 60s. Gone are the days of the 80s until we get back into the summertime. A slight chance of showers today, but it should be fine for the Outlaw Festival tonight at Bank NH with John Mellencamp and Willie Nelson and okay for Friday night football games. Speaking of football, ah, if we must, the Patriots lost big time against the Jets last night. The final score, Jets 24, Pats 3. 3. Ugh. Well, listen, the good news is that the Patriots don't play until a week from Sunday. So maybe they're going to fix whatever is wrong 
before they play the 49ers. And in local football, the Dover School District issued this letter last night to the community, the families of middle school students. Apparently, there's been bad behavior at home football games in Dover lately, and they're asking for students to stop it. We're talking about middle school students. It was a physical fight. There was threatening and distasteful language going on. I mean, all kinds of stuff. So failure to result, failure to follow the rules is going to result in the removal of the games and other privileges that don't do it. Um, and did you know that the average working parent pulls an 18-hour workday and only gets 31 minutes of me time? That's true. If you know, if you know, especially if you're alone, like just doing it by yourself, that is not, you got no time. Now there's a place just for you. Give me 31 minutes. Just 31 minutes. Just a little me time. You got the kids ready for school. Drop them off. Worked a full day. Cleaned the house. Made dinner. Did the dishes. Folded laundry. Helped with homework. Then put the kids to bed. And now you only get 31 minutes just for you. Spend your half hour a day at me time. Me time. Relax in a quiet room. Take a bath. Scroll on social media without interruptions. Or just sit in silence. Give me 31 Time's up. Your 31 minutes is over. Next parent. Let my worries unwind. Me time. Visit us today. Babysitter not included. Hey, coming up in less than an hour from now, your very first win cash code of the day. Three digits and you could win $30,000. It's easy. It's fun. Download the app for more detail. You know, it's Friday. It's classic hits for the Seacoast. 1021 and 105.3 The Shark. That was a request for Jill in Epping. She wanted to hear Don't Talk to Strangers by Rick Springfield. And I deliver because, you know, that's my job. This is mainly focused on our first responders. From the first responders who answered the call. If we haven't said it before, we just want to say thank you. Very important work. We would like to say thank you. Man, I love, I love this time of the week every Friday. We announced another local hero of the week. The Shark has teamed up with Partners Bank. We want to shine a spotlight on EMTs, fire department, firefighters, police officers, hospital workers. And we got a great entry this week. Thank you so much. The person nominating is Graham Pellerin from Kingston. And Graham nominated Kelly Muldoon from Kingston. And here's how Graham described Kelly. What makes a hero? Although many of those who would be considered a hero by many shy away from the term to be used to describe them. That's so true, Graham. Kelly has been an advanced EMT for many years. She prides herself on giving the absolute best care to all the patients she encounters. Not only is she one of the best caregivers in an emergency situation, but she's kind and heartfelt with patients and family members in a non-emergency as well. Kelly always goes above and beyond the proverbial call of duty. With her numerous cardiac arrest saves, thousands of patients transported to the hospital, I can't think of anyone else to nominate for this dedication. Please accept my nomination for Kelly to be highlighted in the series. Hero of the Week, as it is more, it is no more deserved. It is so well deserved by Kelly. Well, there you go, Graham. I could not agree more. Congratulations to Graham, uh, to Kelly, and thank you to Graham for nominating Kelly. That's amazing. You can do it as well. Kelly's going to receive a gift certificate to Pepper's Landing, and you're going to be in the running for a $500 Visa gift card. Your hero will be. All of the information that you need at shark1053.com or on the Shark app. Classic hits for the Seacoast, 1021 and 1053. The Shark, welcome to your Friday. Please enjoy the the sound of a cat taking a bath. (laughs) I don't know why that cracked me up so much. Probably because, A, why, why? 
Why do you ever subject the cat to that kind of torture, number one? Number two, you're going to get clawed to death as a cat owner. But anyway, I digress. Um, so, you know, Michael Jackson and Vincent Price, we're getting into that time of year. Halloween time, of course. Um, we play Thriller here on The Shark. And have you ever heard any backstage, any, um, you know, a sneak peek to how it was made? Here's Michael Jackson and Vincent Price doing a voiceover for the promotion of the song. Hi, this is Michael Jackson. This is Vincent Price. Michael Jackson is... The Thriller. (laughs) Do we both say it? Say it together. I say inviting you to. All right, yeah. Anytime, Hi, this is Michael Jackson. And this is Vincent Price inviting you to the, the thriller. thriller. Pretty cool, right? It's just unreal. Did you know that the original name of the song was not Thriller? This part, this really took me by surprise. It was actually known as Starlight. Check it out. We need Starlight? I mean, that blew my mind. I've heard that song as many times as you, probably more, I will admit. But yeah, if you think it's an easy song to sing, it's really not. Check out Michael Jackson's isolated vocals. It's close to midnight. Something evil's lurking in the dark. Under the moonlight, you see a sight that almost stops your heart. You try to scream, but Jared takes the sound before you make it. Yeah. You start to freeze as horror looks you right between the eyes. You're paralyzed, because this is damn and no one's going to save you from the beast about to strike. You know we're still alive. Thriller night. You're fighting for your life inside of Killer Thriller. Isn't that unreal? Man, he just, he put everything into it. We've got Thriller coming up next on The Shark. 